I believe that a name is more than just a compilation of letters. Our names are who we are. And uh, there's not a lot of things in this world that we can say is entirely our own, but except for our names. Now, um, the interesting thing about my name, if you didn't know, it's Chi, spelled C-H-I. And um, it's short, it's simple, and I think it's very memorable. And the thing about my name is that, um, depending on which language it's actually spoken in, there's a different meaning or a different def definition to it. Now, since I'm half Vietnamese, the Vietnamese meaning of my name actually means sense of mind. And then if you were to speak my name in Chinese, it would mean energy, and in Japanese, it would mean knowledge. Now, as an interesting approach for me to introduce myself to you, um, I'm going to actually take the letters in my name and extract a word that would best describe me as a person. And uh, to begin with, we'll start with the letter C. And the word that I chose for that started with the letter C was committed. Um, there are a lot of different definitions to the word commit, but the one that I thought that was most suitable um, for me was the one that says to entrust or to pledge yourself to something. And whether it's a task, a goal, or even a relationship, I believe that I can fully commit myself to it. Um, and it's interesting because like um, the Chinese definition of my name, which was energy, um, I can exert all of my energy into something I commit myself. Now, after um, the letter C comes the letter H, and the word that I chose for the letter H was herself. Um, I believe I'm a very genuine person. Um, what you see is what you get, and I am who I am, and nobody else. Um, on top of that, I also feel like I have a strong sense of myself. Um, I know what I want, I know what I'm capable of, and I definitely know my limits as well. Now, the interesting about um, that part about me is that um, like the Japanese definition of my name, which was knowledge, um, I have a full knowledge and a really good understanding of who I am as a person. Now, finally, for the last letter of my name, which is I, the letter, um, the word that I actually chose was imaginative. Um, I have a tendency to lose myself in a daydream, and I am definitely prone um, to zoning out. Um, I'm actually very guilty of drifting off into this little la la land of mine um, one too many times during the day, and there really isn't nothing else to set the blame on other than my own imaginative mindset. Um, normally, that, that might be something to be embarrassed about, but I actually find it um, almost as an advantage because when there's absolutely nothing amusing around me, um, I find that I can just you know, resort to my own thoughts as amusement. And uh, like all the other words that represented me before, um, there's actually a relation between one of the meanings of my name. Um, like the Vietnamese meaning of my name was sense of mind. And now that we've actually run out of all the letters in my name, I hope you guys have a better understanding of who I am as a person. And um, like the C in my name, I find myself um, a very committed person. Um, like the H, um, I use the word herself to rep represent me, knowing that I am very in touch with myself. And then for the I, I used the word imaginative, like my mindset. And hopefully I had inspired you guys to go out and find the meanings behind your own names and learn more about and discover more about yourself just as I had did. So overall, don't forget that a name is not just a label that we all have. Our names are who we are.